my last video I spoke about the trolley and discussed certain aspects of it in this video I'm going to actually start taking it apart and explain some of the features of the trolley and what I'm going to do in case you're wondering what the background noise is this is it it's my blacksmith whirly gog <laughs> whirly gog <laughs> I'll do that again <laughs> it's my blacksmith whirly gig he's banging his anvil and you'll probably hear some tapping while I'm doing my other filming so I thought I'd explain what's causing the tapping he seems happy enough work on the trailer I've taken the handle off it's held on by two split pins on this piece here and it's very rusty it was bent and I've strained it out as much as I can so that should be okay it'll be cleaned up and painted but I really wanted to show you the quality of the fittings this is the, the turntable part. I'm going to, I've taken the split pin out at the bottom. I'm going to take it off just to show you the quality of the thing. It's really, really heavy. And you can see from here, you could if I move the camera down a bit, the quality of this turntable. It's really well built. Look at that. Oh, God. Do you know that? It's really heavy. It's very rusty now. This will be covered in grease when it's repaired. But the quality is quite outstanding. You don't get this today. You, uh, this is really strong. You've got a one inch axle here. And uh, I'm pretty sure when it's all cleaned up, it'll be a damn good little trolley. I'll move that aside so you can see the other part. That is heavy, that is. Got some work to do on that. That's the other part of the turntable. You can see the axle stub sticking out there. And there's just a little split pin goes in there. The turntable fits on there. And there's a split pin that holds it in place. It really is top quality stuff. You can see the chassis part here where it's. I hope you. I don't know where you can see it or not actually. You might be able to now. Hang on, there we are. Oh, there we are. There's a hole in there. This is gone, but I'm sure I can fix something on that. I can weld another piece on or just fit another piece on top if necessary. But uh, I just thought I'd show how, you know, how far I've got and what's got to be done basically. I've still got the other wheels on but all the chassis will have to be sort of rubbed down I'm not going to rub it down too much I'm just going to get all the rust and stuff off as much as I can and I'll probably coat it with some of that Finian's paint you know the uh, heavy duty stuff that you can paint straight on rust turntable I've just got it perched on the top of the trolley I'm going to scrape this um, grease and stuff off there and you can see now we, I think we know what colour it was originally it looks like it was a nice green yeah, you can see the green paint still underneath it, look. So obviously that is... I'm not going to do it green because I haven't got any green Finnegan's paint. So I shall do it whatever I've got. It'll probably be blue or even silver. We'll have to see what we've got. Might be black even. Depends what's in the shed. I'm a scrimper. I'm not going to buy any paint if I've got some tins of it already that came from somewhere else. Sorry about the wind noise. It's very windy today. I'm having a lot of trouble trying to film this. On the one hand, I've got the wind blowing. I've got a tractor over the field cutting the hedges making a noise and I have to wait until he's moved up a bit before I can film. I've just had a really noisy aeroplane and I've got my whirly gig bashing away but I will have a go anyway. This is the undercarriage with the, the bottom of the turntable and this is the piece where the handle fits on. The handle just slips in there with a, with a cotter pin through it but what I can't make out is this. They, when I got it it was loose like this and I, I've got the blow lamp on and taking the nut off and everything but somebody's obviously messed around with it because there's odd bits on there I'll have to stop a minute because the noisy tractor so this is what I can't make out this fits in the hole there this this pivot piece has a square section here and there's a washer rammed on there it, it's not welded or into it if it was welded on I could understand it but it's just a squared section with a, a round bit with a thread on and the washer rammed on and when I got it just had a nut and washer on and this was all floating around loose which obviously isn't right I mean to my mind that should be a tight fixture in there for the handle to fit on but there's no way with what we've got here that it'll work I'll give you an example here's the other side I've taken off now this one it's got two washers on one with a squared section but if you look at this you see it's rounded then it goes to square but the point is that that squared washer they've got on that will push on right the way down so it's not really doing anything. If you try to put it in the hole, it's going to do nothing. That washer needs to be fitted 
solid on the rod like that somehow to lock it into place otherwise this is just going to remain loose if you put a lot of spacers on if you put that in like that and put a lot of spacers in the nut as you tighten the nut up the squared section would gradually pull through the hole I imagine and, and make the hole bigger and it would rock about again so I've got to find a method of, of doing something with that now the only thing I could think of there is one thing I thought of doing is if I drill a hole through the metal there and put a, 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 a roll pin or something like what they call a transax pin a cotter pin isn't going to be strong enough or a little bar of metal but I think a transax pin would be best which is a sort of a, a split a very hard split pin and if I put one of those in first then put the heavy washer on with a pin behind it and then I can tighten this up and it should lock it in place and stop it moving I can't think of any other way of doing it the other, other method of course would be to put a washer on there and then weld it but uh, that's extra work as well so I'll have to think about that but it's, it's a bit odd where it's like that the other strange thing is on this undercarriage piece I'm calling it an undercarriage I don't know what the proper name is I expect there is it had this piece on as well this was bolted around the handle but it appears to do nothing now I've had a look on the I've got a drawing of one of these little trolleys I found online but it, it's it's only a basic drawer and then you can't see much and it is a later one which has got a different arrangement to what I've just showed you with a handle but it doesn't show anything like this now whether this is something that the farmer put on it for some reason or, other, or whether it's part of the thing I really don't know but I've told you it doesn't appear to do anything it's got a leg that was hanging out the bottom there with a hole in it now whether it had a, a linkage or something and a braking mechanism I don't know on the other side behind the this fit in there was this a metal plate that's just hanging loose but I think they put it on really as a spacer just like that they probably looked all that's would stick that on to tighten it up you know because I, I can't see what it could possibly do but I, I've no idea but this is perplexing me I keep looking at it I can't make out whether it's part of it or, or what it is but there you go anyway I'll have to have another think about this in my first video I showed you these wheels that I'd bought off eBay and as I mentioned I bought them purely on chance as to whether they'd fit or not but I was lucky now look at this I'm just going to show you how lucky this is here's the axle and the, the ball bearings on there look watch this absolutely perfect I mean you couldn't have a better fit than that brilliant what could be better and there's just a little collar these little collars that fit on there that just fits on there and bolts up I've put some washers underneath it as well but I mean that's perfect isn't it I couldn't have wanted any better than that really I think you'll agree this one has just about had it this this is the first one I pumped up um, you can see how badly it's gone around here all around here it's all it looked all right until I put some air in the tires and around the other side when I pumped it, it just popped off and there's the remainder of the rim and down in here you can see the the state of it is just completely rusted away so I I think it's long overdue I don't think there's much I can do with that there you go well there you are there's, the, there's the, what's left of the the wheel hub not much I don't think there's anything to be salvaged from that it's only fit for the scrap bin that I don't think it's even any good for scrap actually it's almost rusted away to nothing I wonder what the inner, the inner tube looks all right still Still actually still holding air, the tires had it, but the tube's okay. I've taken the tube out of that old wheel I just showed you, and it's still still pumped up from when I put some air in it the other day. Uh, amazingly, it's in quite good condition. It's, it's not perished or anything, and I reckon it might be the original, because if I zoom in, you can see around here the words Dunlop and the Dunlop symbol with a little sort of arrow with a D in it. It's a genuine Dunlop tube and I wouldn't mind betting that's the original one from 70 odd years ago and it's still okay I shan't throw it away I should keep that as a spare in case you're wondering how I'm going to clean these rusty old fittings up here's the answer Sainsbury's vinegar well obviously it doesn't have to be Sainsbury's any vinegar would do if you put vinegar in a little tray or something like this this has been used before so it's not as strong as it should be oh, it smells like vinegar anyway 
let's move it where you can, the camera can see it and then take your rusty parts and pop them in the vinegar like so, I'll put the nuts in separate nuts in I'll put these two washers in, I might not be able to use them but you never know, it won't hurt to clean them up now if you leave those in the vinegar for several hours you'd be amazed at the results I'm going to leave them, probably leave them in there overnight but when I take them out I'll show you what happens when you first look at them, when you take them out of the vinegar they look as though nothing's happened whatsoever, they look just as rusty as before but if you then wash them off and get a little brush or something and rub them you'll find all the rust will come off and they'll be quite new again example of the pair of vinegar these two have both been in vinegar they're pretty badly rusted up, that's just an example, they're coach bolts and that one has been in the vinegar but I haven't washed it off and you can see the rust still on it whereas that one's more shiny just go in and wash that one off and come back and show you the result well, here we are I've just washed this one, you saw it was rusty, I've just washed it under the tap with a bit of soap and water and a ordinary bristle scrubbing type brush and I think you'll agree that's got most of the rust off. It was really, really rusty when I put it in there. Now, I'm not advocating you go around de-rusting coach screws. It's probably cheaper to buy new ones, but it could be a special bolt you wanted for a project. And it's well worth trying the vinegar trick because it does work.